Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Minasan, Namaskar and welcome to the class in our second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. In our uh, previous class, we learnt giving and receiving that is verbs which are required to give something to someone and verbs which are required to receive something from someone. So how to use them, when to use them, what are the situations you will be using them in. So, we will continue with all this today as well, but also learn something new with kuremas. So, let us see what we have in our lecture today. Listen to this uh, passage that we have here and let us see how much you understand. After that, I will do all the explanation.私は友達と両親にたくさんプレゼントをもらいました。ラオさんはみんなにコクテールを作ってあげました。ミラさんはみんなのために歌を歌いました。私たちはみんなで11時まで踊りました。妻は美味しいご飯を作ってくれました。I will explain the things that you have not understood in the kaiwa right now. So, nichiyobi ni uchi de party ga arimashita. There was a party at my house. Kaisha kara mira san to rao san ga party ni kite kuremashita. They came to my house. Watashi wa tomodachi to ryoshin ni taksan presento o muraimashita. I received a lot of presents from my friends and my parents. Rao san wa minna ni cocktail o tsukutte agemashita. He made cocktails and gave to everyone. Mira san wa minna no tame ni for everyone. Otatte kuremashita. She sang for everyone. Watashitachi wa minna de all of us. Ju ichiji made Odori mashita, we danced. Then, tsuma wa oishi gohan o tsukutte kuremashita. Tsuma is oksan, it's his wife, wa oishi gohan o tsukutte, she made and gave it to us. So, this is the simple kaiwa. There is lot of grammar here. So, we are going to take up each part at a time. Now, there is katakana lot of kanji also. Some kanjis I am sure you will be able to recognize if not be able to write. So, do that, practice your hiragana. Now, so far we have learnt that particle ni is used with arimas and to show what? It shows location and existence of an object at a certain place. So, now you just saw in the kaiva that we used particle de with arimas. So, how are we using particle de over here? You can see very clearly it has to be ni arimas. Ni shows location and de shows action. So, object wa place ni arimas. Now, look at this and see hon wa soko ni arimas. This is what we did. Hon wa tsukue no ue ni arimas. It is on top of the table. Kuruma wa kyusha jo ni arimas. So, you will see that all three over here show location of a certain object. So, why are we using they? What is the reason for using they? The reason is that if aru comes with an event, that is if an event is happening at a certain place, 
then particle they is used with arimas. For example, you can see here in this picture they are having a party over here. So, ashita tomodachi no uchi de party ga arimas or kino tomodachi no uchi de party ga arimas ta and kino. So, at a place, at a place event is there. So, it is not showing existence of an object, it is showing that an event is taking place at a certain location. You can look at these examples also over here. Ototoi gakko de Tanaka sensei no kogi ga arimashita. So, there was an event which was a lecture and that took place at the gakko. Now, over here there is sports day. So, you can see Raishu Gakko de again at school Undokai ga arimas. So, this event is going to take place at school. And when is the time? The time is Raishu. So, I am sure by now it is very clear why they is being used over here. So, you can see place ni aru or iru, place ni object aru and hito iru, iru and aru. Now, gakko de undokai ga arimas. It is taking place or happening. So, now we have learned different ways we can use particle de in our previous lessons. I want to tell you one more way you can use particle de. We already know that particle de shows how something is used to perform an action that is you use something for example, hashi a chopstick to eat. So, hashi de gohan o tabemas or you will use a pen to write or a pencil to write or a brush to paint. So, pen de kakimas. Similarly, we can also use particle de for instruments or means used to do something. Now, this sounds a little confusing. So, let us look at the example. Senshu sono ega o teribi de mimashita. So, you can have a short kaiwa. Ano ega o mimashita ka? A, ano ega desu ka? Senshu sono ega o teribi de mimashita. So, you are talking about an ega which both of you, the listener and the speaker, both know of. So, Senshu ano ega o terubi de mimashita. I saw it on TV. Then also another one very clear. Mainichi computer de jujikan shigoto o shimas. Computer de. So, basically the meaning is on in English. I work on the computer. Watashi wa computer de shigoto o shimas. You could also say watashi wa YouTube de mimashita. So, now the verbs ageru, murau and kureru also have their honorific counterparts. I had talked about it earlier in our previous lesson. How are you going to use these verbs? What are the situations? With whom? For example, as they show respect, then you have to use them in formal situations. With people who are older to you in age and in rank. In business uh, interactions, you have to use these verbs. So, have to be very, very careful when and how to use them. You can see from this picture over here and we have also done this. Person 1 wa, person 2 ni agimas. And what are the people? You can give your friend, you can give your um, ototo, you can give your brothers and sisters, you can give someone else's sister, you can also give to your father, you can give to anybody. That person can give to someone else as well. 
now when you have to give to someone senior to you how will you show respect it is sashi ageru so watashi wa sensei ni hon o sashi agemas and you will see who is giving i am giving over here so i am the subject now again you have done morau over here also you will see who is the subject i am the subject watashi wa person to ni moraimashita i received from it could be mira san it could be chichi it could be teacher this you have done now if you are receiving it from your teacher or from someone who is older to you then for respect you will say itadakimas again watashi wa i have received from someone so your position is over here and the person you were receiving it from is over here to show respect now so far it has been i the subject has been watashi now if the subject changes and subject becomes person 2 that is the person who was giving you so far or the person you were giving to so far is going to give you then what are you going to say person 2 wa person 1 that is ni i ni kuremashita so sensei wa watashi ni hon o hon o kure mashita this is person 2 and this is person 1 who was the subject so far in ageru and morau now the subject has changed now if you want to be very polite and you have received something from someone then sensei wa watashi ni hon o kudasaimashita or kudasatta he gave so your position is here and sensei is over here you being very very polite and honorific now you can see from the examples over here watashi wa tomodachi ni hana o agemashita so i am the subject over here you can see very clearly with wa agemashita tanaka san wa sensei ni hon o sashi agemashita so i can give tanaka san can give to anybody who is senior now mariko san wa tomodachi ni or kara meaning from hana o moraimashita it can be mariko san or it can be me also watashi wa tomodachi ni hana o moraimashita now if it is from sensei that you are getting something then watashi wa sensei ni or sensei kara hon o itadaki mashita i received from sensei or mariko san wa sensei ni hon o itadaki mashita to sensei is over here and i am over here i am being honorific and using itadaki mas murai mas we have done earlier you can give to people your age so itadaki mas sashi age mas will always be used in business situations or people senior in age and in rank then oto san wa watashi ni hon o kuremashita so oto san is here and i am here and he is giving something to me i am receiving something from him you can see from the picture as well that oto san is giving me so i am here and oto san is here now you can look at this that agemas give is to ageru in japanese to give something to someone is ageru so i give to mira and mira gives to me but in japanese it becomes kure ru now from this picture you can see over here i give you i can give others also someone else is also over here so i can give this person also you can also give to others which is mira over here so in this case mira can also give to others someone anyone x y z over here can give to someone else so all
all of it is written over here, you can see. So far, I was giving watashi wa ageru to anyone, A, B, C, anyone. Now, this person over here is giving me. Now, that becomes kureru. Someone gives to me, it could be anyone. This person over here, someone is giving to me, Mirasan is giving to me or someone over here, this gentleman over here can also give to Mira. Now, another very important thing is the giver will be followed by particle va or ga and the receiver will always be followed by particle ni. So, I give and I receive, but someone else gives me, that is kureru. You can see from these examples, chichi wa imoto ni tokeyo agemashita. So, chichi can give imoto or I can give watashi wa imoto ni tokeyo agemashita. So, all of this from this example you can see and understand very clearly. Now, chichi wa watashi ni tokeyo kuremashita or chichi wa imoto ni tokeyo kuremashita. So, chichi can give to imoto, chichi can give to me as well over here. You can also understand it like this. For example, watashi, you and others. It could be anybody. So, I can give you, I can give others. You can also give others. Now, others can give you, others can give me and you can also give me. So, this is ageru and this is kureru. Now, I have made these arrows over here. Try to make sentences on your own and see whether you can use ageru and kureru correctly. Now, another important thing that you have to keep in mind is when you are giving things to animals basically. So, you give them food which is esa in Japanese and the verb is yaru, yari mas. Watashi wa inu ni esa o yaru or yari mas, yari mas. I give food to my dog or if you have an aquarium at home to your fish or to your birds. Now you can quickly go over these sentences. I have already explained all of it in detail. Now you will remember that we did te form of the verb as verb te kudasai and verb in te form plus imas. Now this very te form we can use it with kureru also and see what it means. The word kudasai means request that is please do and is coming from the verb kudasaru. So, when we say tabete kudasai it means please eat as the verb used there is taberu which means to eat or we can say chotomate kudasai which means to wait and the verb used there is matsu which means to wait. So, basically when you use verb in te kudasai form Kudasai is please and meaning comes from the verb that you are using. For example, taberu and matsu. So, matte kudasai and tabete kudasai. Tabete kudasai. Please eat and matte kudasai. Please wait. Now, verb in te imas form is continuous tense where an action is happening over a period of time and the time duration of the activity happening is not very long. The span is not very long. It is a short span. So, now if we use kureru instead of imas, well, te kuremas will mean someone did something or does something for me. For example, gohan o tsukutte kuremashita. Gohan o, o tsukutte 
ve ta. So basically it means made and gave Gohan to me. So someone does something for me, a favor done to me. In Te Kurema's form, the subject is the benefactor as you can see from the example. Now see, Tanaka san wa hana o kaimashita, he bought flowers. Tanaka san wa watashi ni hana o kuremashita, he gave flowers to me, gave over here, he gave flowers to me. So if we join the two, basically meaning that he bought flowers and gave to me, how are we going to write it? Tanaka san wa watashi ni to me hana o katte kure mashita, verb in te form plus kure ru, bought and gave to me. So you can practice now over here, Tanaka san wa watashi ni hana o katte kure mashita as we did in our last slide and the verb over here is kau which means to buy. Instead of hana, you can use dictionary or any other noun that you want to use. Tanaka san wa watashi ni dores o katte kuremashita or Tanaka san wa watashi ni kurma o katte kuremashita. Anything can come over here, any noun. Now, what are they doing over here? There is kanji written and these two are studying or doing something together, maybe joint studies together. So, Taro kun wa watashi ni kanji o oshiete kuremashita. So, basically he told me and I received the favor. Verb is osheru which means to teach or tell. For example, sensei wa oshiete kuremashita. Sensei told us. So, she told and who received the favor? The students received the favor. Now, taro kun ga shukudai o tetsudatte kuremashita. So, verb is tetsudau to help, to help. Taro kun helped me to do the shukudai. So, he helped and I received the favor of him helping me finish my shukudai. Now, if we go back to our kaiva, you will see how kuremas is used in sentences. See, there is this picture of them celebrating, maybe a birthday party. So, kaisha kara tomodachi ga party ni itte kuremashita. So, they came to the party. So, tomodachi came and I was very happy. I received the favor of them coming home for my party. So, the verb is kuru in plain form which is to come and why are they saying te kuremashita why this kuru and not iku because the party has already happened and they all came and everybody was at home thus kimas there was another sentence there mira san wa utatte kuremashita so mira san sang it is to sing and she sang and we all enjoyed. We enjoyed her singing. She sang for us. So, Mira san wa utatte kuremashita. This is how you will use verb in te form plus kureru to receive. Whatever is being said over here, whatever verb is being used over here, this is done and then received by you. Now, you also have bucho wa watashi ni hon o kudasaimashita. Now, we have done ageru, sashi ageru, sashi ageru, morau, itadaku. Then we have done kureru, so the honorific is kudasaru, from where kudasai is also coming. So then because it is bucho, it could be sensei, it could be some 
uh, business associate, maybe Tanaka san. So, wa watashi ni hon o kudasai mashita. He gave me a book. So, being very, very polite over here. With kudasai mashita. And again, you can replace hon with anything, any noun over here. Now, this is a small kaiwa by one of my students using te murau and te kureru form. I want you to go over the kaiwa, see how much you can understand and whatever is left, I am going to tell you in your next class. Even the explanation of this kaiwa, I am not writing over here. You can see the kaiwa written in the script. Look at the kanjis, the katakana and the hiragana, practice all of it and explanation will be done only next time. Ne ni san, ashita kokusai fujin de desu ne. Okasan ni nani wo agemashou ka? So desu ne. Ne, fuku wa dou desu ka? Ii kedo, okasan ni mai toshi fuku wa ageru kara konkai tokubetsu na mono wo agetai desu. So desu ne. Okasan no koshi ga etai no de massage chair wa dou desu ka? Oni san sugoi yo. いつ買いに行きますか？インターネットで買って怒ってもらった方がいいよ。じゃあその時私に漫画を買ってくれますか？いいよ、買ってあげますよ。ありがとう。So with this, I would like to end today's class. We have done quite a few things. We have done ageru, we have done morau, we have done itadaku, sashi ageru, uh, kureru, kudasaru, all of it. How to use it in te form. There is still more left in this uh, giving and receiving, uh, which we will continue next week. Till then, I would like you to practice all of it at home. Uh, do, do passages, do short conversations, make short dialogues and practice at home with your partner. If not with somebody, then alone and come prepared for your next class. Till then, mata aimashou. Arigatou gozaimashita.